Dr. Granick, what's the difference in why we might treat a pyelonephritis as we learned previously, something that I think is like major, a major infection as compared to 10 days for the respiratory tract? So yeah, pyelonephritis guidelines from ISCADE recommend more in that seven to 14 days. We often treat pyelonephritis for about seven days here. Why the difference? Well, it may be that one, that's the evidence that we have, right? So um, the diseases are different. Resolution of disease depends on so many things. It depends on the infecting pathogen. It depends on the host immune response. It depends on the ability of the drug to get to the site of infection. And we know a little bit less of, about that in respiratory diseases in animals. You know, there are some drugs that we think probably get into the respiratory secretions, but maybe don't get into the actual tissue of the lungs and then others that are vice versa. So um, I think there's still a lot of questions out there. And we do definitely need more studies that can help us really narrow down the recommendations for duration for these different conditions. The other thing I want to point out is these are guidelines. So there's always that individual patient variability. So if you have a patient that's improving, but not totally improved, and you're at that 10 day mark for, you know, bacterial pneumonia, or you're at that seven day mark for pyelonephritis, maybe you're going to go a little bit longer. And that's okay. If you have a really old patient, or an immunocompromised patient, that you think would benefit from another couple of days. So you always have to use your clinical judgment. But I think the overarching message is that we are treating most infections in our veterinary patients way longer historically than we actually need to. And that's a risk for that individual patient for development of antimicrobial resistance, as well as a risk you know, for other animals and people in the household and, and a public health risk too.